Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I just wanted to show you guys my new tank I set up uh, in my room. My new African Sigla tank. This is a uh, 30 gallon or 29 gallon, more precise. But I just put some food in there. Um, I put some shrimp and then of course some squid food that's meant for them um and hopefully the catfish will come out too i have a raphael catfish there he is at the bottom there as you can see hopefully we can see him eat a little bit uh he has a big stomach on him we'll see that uh, i actually uh fed them some worms yesterday and the catfish got a couple of those so that's good um, but I normally try to feed them the cichlid pellets because they're more, uh, you know, veggies for, because these fish are herbivores. So these are imbuna. Um, so yeah. Uh, we got the bumblebee cichlid, the venestis, and the, I don't even know what you call that. It's like the jid something. Uh, I know, but I just don't remember, um, but, <clears throat> anyways, his name is Louie, and then I don't really, that's just spaz, because, also, if anybody in the comments can tell me, I have ev all the water parameters, like, near perfect for these guys, um, so, I just want to know, and I just did a 50% water change a couple of days ago, um, when I actually just added this catfish, and, Louie would always go in this log, um, and now, well, when I put the catfish in here, he was always going in the log, but now the catfish has kind of moved over to this lighthouse, which Louie goes in sometimes, but he doesn't really care about it as much as his log, so now he's got his log back, which I'm happy about because I wanted him to have that, and um, yeah, so now the catfish is in here, but what I was getting at is i don't even know why i just told you that but oh yeah so i did a 50 percent water change like the water's good it's clean like you know no chlorine low nitrates no ammonia all that stuff and for some reason oh you can see the catfish's whiskers for some reason this bumblebee cichlid i don't know if any of you guys have bumblebee cichlids but if you do let me know i've had him for going on three weeks i believe and for some reason when just random times like i'll be playing games or something and i'll have the light off on it doesn't matter the overhead light in my room on or off it doesn't matter anytime louie and the venustis are chill but then the bumblebee cichlid We'll just randomly spaz swim up and down the tank, and it may be because the tank is too small. He's getting kind of big. Um, I've heard, you know, some people say minimum 40 gallons. Some people say minimum 55 gallons for cichlids, but I only have three cichlids in here, and I'm not adding any more um, for a certain reason. And number one being just because the tank is too small, and I'm not getting a bigger tank right now, so... I'm just trying to keep it limited to three. Also, these guys are very aggressive fish, but they are pretty peaceful with one another. As, like, you'll tell sometimes, Louie, he's the most aggressive and territorial um, just because of his species, and he will chase the Venustus around. The Venustus is semi-aggressive, but she is not aggressive towards either of these at all. But sometimes you will definitely see Louie chase her. Um, I haven't seen him chase too much to where I'm concerned, but he will kind of see, like, they get along sometimes, so... You know, that's just how these fish do most of the time. But, um, yeah, if anyone can tell me down in the comments why this bumblebee cichlid will just randomly swim up and down the glass. Like, it's pretty much all the time. I'm really surprised he's not doing it right now. He's actually pretty chill. Uh, but he will just randomly start swimming up and down, up and down, and up and down. I've looked it up, you know, and it says it could be the stress. It could be the water parameters. The water parameters are perfect. When I put him in here... Obviously, he was doing it the first day, and I was like, okay, well, he's just trying to get his tank established. He's trying to get his territory, and, you know, because the water parameters were perfect. I just cycled the tank, you know, put all the good bacteria, easy balance, all that in there. And 
um, I was like, well, it's got to be due to stress, right? <clears throat> um, but then after, you know, probably a week or uh, about a week, I'd say, you know, had the filter still running, obviously, and all that, he was still just up and down, up and down, up and down the tank. And I was like, okay, well, I did some more research, and it said they could be scared of their, their own reflection. So, I mean... I mean, if that's the case, then there's nothing I can really do about that, I guess. He's just got to get used to it. But I'm just hoping he isn't stressed. And then he also, as you can tell, he's very faded right now. And then in probably like two minutes, he will come. At, yeah, like, see, he's dark again. So this fish, um, she does it too. She will get really, really black. And their color, these two, Louie doesn't really change much. But these two over here, their colors fade in and out very quickly, very often. So I'm wondering if... Because that's also a sign of stress. I'm wondering if that's something I'm doing wrong. Uh, you know, the pH is high. I think my water may be a little bit too cold. Because this, um, this um, thermometer I have, see Louie's chasing her, but this thermometer I have is very, very old. I had my first ever fish in here when I was about five in this tank. Um, so... I'm assuming that's probably not correct, but I have a heater and I have it set to 75 and it's not on right now. So the water is, should be about around 75. Um, but I think I need to bump it up to 78 to 82, I believe is what cichlids prefer. So I may do that and see if the problem stops. But if anybody has any advice, please let me know in the comments. But um, I just, I've really been I've always been into fish, but I've really, really, really been getting more into them lately, and I just wanted to put some videos on the channel um, of these guys, and then I'll make, I have a community tank of some sort. Downstairs, I will show you, and I'm also, um, I haven't told you guys this, but big channel update, I'm turning 18 this Friday, January 19th, 2024 is my 18th birthday, and... I'm going to be getting a arowana for my birthday. Um, I'm somewhat prepared for them. I think I'm going to start him off in a 125. And then, depending on how quick he grows, um, because I know these fish get absolutely massive, which I am prepared for but somewhat scared of, um, we may or may not uh, have to get a have to give them away or just get a massive tank um i think it does say minimum for a full-grown one is a 250 so hopefully i can upgrade my 125 to a 250 and then move these guys to the 125 and get give some more cichlids for them um and then maybe some peacocks and all that and because it says you're not supposed to mix them but i think they would be fine in a 125 with a lot of territories i'll put some driftwood stuff like that in there um but yeah, I just wanted to basically just kind of start a little small series here on my channel of aquatics because I love fish and I love, you know, everything to do with fish. And um, these three guys are, are characters. I'll tell you what, Louie is uh, just his, his personality is extremely hilarious and funny when he's not being a little brat and chasing her, at least, because I hate when my fish chase each other. We had tiger barbs down in the community tank, uh, and I guess our local pet store lied to us because we didn't. Really, I didn't really do any research. I was just like, "Oh, they're cool, you know, school and fish. Let's get them." And we should have got silver dollars, but we got these guys because they said they were the same temperament of silver dollars, and obviously they're not. So they, the the little bit bigger one killed the, all the other ones pretty much. We still got one little one left with the big one, and. Uh, yeah, so that was not a good idea. And then we got two Garami. Um, we had a blue Garami at first, and he was all by himself and had a red tail shark. And those two just died from the water parameters being wrong. So then I had to fix all that, accolade the tank again and all that, and then went to go pick up some more fish. Now we got a blue Ikara. A, uh, a two, we had two Garamis, and then the bigger one killed the little one, which I didn't realize again how aggressive those fish were. So anybody watching this video that's thinking about getting fish or you have fish or you want to add some fish to your tank, these guys are still eating, by the way. Um, all, I, all I recommend to you because I am the guiltiest one in the entire world about seeing something cool, pretty colors, 
looks awesome and I'm like wow I just want to add that to my fish tank I don't do research and then they end up dying of either the water temperature parameters other fish not getting along with them them not getting along with other fish uh, so I'm the world's worst just to jump into something without knowing what the heck I'm doing so oh catfish is out that's a Raphael catfish um, and I had a lot of people tell me that he wouldn't get along with the cichlids but man they are doing really really great he has armor, so they can't really uh, do anything to him. And I think these fish are very, very smart from what I've just gathered. These three in particular, from what I've gathered, um, the time I've had them, they're very smart. So they've, I saw when I first put them in here, they checked them out, nipped at them a couple times, and they said, whoa, he's got spines on his side, he's got armor, we're not going to attack him. And I really haven't seen them do much. Um, and all the pet stores have these type of fish together, um, but the Venustus is, okay, now Louie's chasing the bumblebee, so I feel a little bit better because he never does that, but she's getting kind of picked on by Louie a lot, and a lot of people have told me, uh, at least I've seen in the pet store, they are literally in the same tank, so I don't know, um, but Louie's kind of getting, getting annoying with that, now even Bumblebee's doing it, and I've never seen Bumblebee chase her, they usually get along really, really well. Um, but maybe they're just territorial for food. Cause she does have the biggest appetite. I've noticed she will eat all their food. Um, so yeah, if anybody can tell me what I can do, um, <clears throat> why he's chasing her. Oh, he's in the pipe, the PVC pipe, uh, put in there. They didn't go in it for a while, but then I kind of did this thing. If you guys are having trouble, with your cichlids hiding in things, which you really shouldn't because these are hide the Imbuna are hiding species, uh, shell dwellers. But what I did there, I kind of buried the PVC down in the gravel. Uh, and they, he seems to like that a lot more. Catfish is literally up in the top of the lighthouse. What the heck is he doing? <laughs> He's been up there for like three days now. Wow, look at how pretty he is. These fish can also trick you because... They're very, very, very pretty, and that's what tricked me, and I got them, and then I didn't... I knew they were aggressive, so... Um, but most people will get them and not know they're aggressive. But anyways, I'll do a little rundown of the tank here. Don't want to drag this video out too long. But we got the heater here, got the aerator. Um, got a little blue bush I had from when I was about five. Uh, that was in this tank when I first got it. Oh, and look, Bumblebee's going in there with Louie. They are just hanging out. That's so cool. I uh, got an old lighthouse I got from the beach when I was little. PVC pipe I got from the backyard about a couple of weeks ago put in here. <laughs> uh, you know, pump filter, all that. And then I got this little grass that I kind of stuck up between the filter and kind of rotated it. So it kind of gives them somewhere to hide. The catfish likes to go up there, go behind the filter, go in the suction cup of the heater and all that. Um, and then, yeah, so that's that. I got this little blue... Uh, glow-in-the-dark rock that they can swim through and they kind of do that thing i don't know if you guys remember that scene from nemo but when he's chasing dory uh trying and she's having memory loss trying to figure out where the boat is uh they do that thing to where they just keep swimming around through both of those holes just keep going through them uh like they're chasing each other kind of like that so that's pretty cool to watch these fish are definitely some of the funnest fish that i've ever had in entertainment what purposes at least uh, i don't really know how to say that but you get what i'm saying uh and then i got this kind of bush thing here uh plant type they like to hide in that every now and then the catfish will go up here in the leaves and get all the excess food uh one big reason i wanted to get a catfish is because when i uh have to overfeed them if i know i'm only going to feed them one time a day i'll put a little bit more in there than uh if i'm going to do two and a lot of those flakes and pellets will come in these rocks. And then the catfish, when I turn the light off, will just come and clean the tank for me. So I don't have to do that anymore. Um, and I would recommend getting one of these, uh, a Cynodontus or a Raphael, way more than a Pleco. Plecos, I have a big one downstairs, which I'm going to show you guys in the next video. But he is absolutely getting way too big for the 55, or we have him in a 49 gallon. He's just getting way too big, and we've had him for... I've probably had this fish for 12 years, y'all. I'm not even lying. And he's growing at a very, very slow rate, but 12 years is a long time, and he should be a lot bigger, but he's still pretty big. Um, So don't get Plecos. They produce way too much waste. They don't clean the tank like everybody says they do, and they don't clean 
the gravel like a dang catfish. Catfish are so awesome at cleaning the tank. Um, and who cares if they produce a lot of waste, right? And then the last but not least, this is Louie's log, as we call it here at my house. But he basically guards this log. Well, he did at least before he put this catfish in here. Now he's kind of mad at me because the catfish took his log over for a while. But he seems like he's coming back around. And he will guard this log with his life, man. I'm telling you, look at him. He's in Louie's log now. But Bumblebee's going through his log. Now they're all out. But, yeah, this is just my new African cichlid tank. Mbuna species. These guys are very, very pretty. Um, and, yeah, if you guys want to see more videos or you guys want to know more information about them, this was kind of just a rambling intro video to the aquarium. I have all the filter and everything off right now because I like to do that when I feed them because it lets them know, you know, hey, it's feeding time and it's really good for the videos as well. Um, now I would have done a video on when I first, the first day I got these guys, but I was honestly pretty busy when, you know, just setting up the tank, making sure they were okay and all that because that's number one. And now that they're getting settled in a couple weeks, I would uh, assume that it's good to start making some videos on these guys. But, uh... Wow, yeah, Louie is very aggressive today. I don't know. I might cut the light out here in a minute. Uh, it seems to reduce aggression. If you guys have a lot of aggression in your tank, in your African cichlid tank, make sure you put more things for them to hide in, more territories for them to guard, and then they will kind of stick their self and, and always cut the light out too if you can. I try not to even keep the light on unless I'm watching them and feeding them because the catfish will just stay in the lighthouse all day if you keep the light on. Um, also, if you want a fish that's very entertaining to watch, do not get a catfish, because they just sit in the dark all day. Um, but I personally like that. I think that's cool, but some people, if you don't want a nocturnal fish, obviously do not get a catfish. But yeah, I put a little bit too much food in here, but it's alright, because those pellets dissolve and don't cloud the water. And they love these flakes, so they'll get those. But anyways, uh, this is a long enough video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, me ranting. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm going to probably do on the uh, community aquarium in a couple of days. But, yeah, let me guys, let me guys, let me guys know what you think about my little community here. And, uh, it's a little wacky. Some of these fish aren't supposed to be together. But, you know, it's working. It's working. Um, so, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless everybody. And peace out.